DECA. DECA, DECA, DECA. I'm sure you guys have heard this term at least once or twice or even a lot more if you guys are in high school or even from upperclassmen or people in high school when you were in the eighth grade or seventh grade. DECA is one of the biggest CTSOs in America with over 200,000 members, at least of last year. And that number has probably since skyrocketed. It does every single year. And so I'm a three-year DECA member. I'm a committee representative at my school. Um, we, are, we have over 400 members at this year and I've qualified to the international conference as well as I've won first place internationally for the MBA Disabilities Diversity Challenge, won third place for the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation Challenge, and I won top eight in the Knowledge Matters Digital Skills Presentation Challenge, all internationally. And so I'm going to give you my take today on if you should join DECA or not. All right, so what even is DECA? So I mentioned that this is a huge CTSO, and what even is a CTSO? Well, that's a career and technical student organization, meaning it prepares you to succeed in one or more following careers in a technical you know, manner. In this case, that's business. So DECA offers is known for its competitive events. So it has competitive events where you can compete at the district, state, and international level, not just national, but international levels where you can win awards, win that deck of glass. Search that up online if you don't know what that is because that'll definitely inspire you guys to win in these competitions. And essentially what's so great about this is it offers not just business events, but finance, hospitality, entrepreneurship, marketing. And even if you're not in the business field, the thing is with business is that there's this, in, especially in DECA, there's this entrepreneurship side to this where you can essentially pitch your own business idea through any event that ends in the word plan. So business growth plan, independent business plan. And so you can pitch things like if you wanna do healthcare, you can do that. CS, you can do that. Tech, do that. Classics, you can do that. Literature, you can do that. Artistry, you can do that. No matter what it is, there's an opportunity for you to do in DACA. And so literally out of you know f about 4 million people in every single grade level, there's about 16 million people I think in high school. I think every single person is technically eligible and I think should consider joining. And I think at the end of the day, every single person should join DECA and here are my five reasons why. Now, the first thing goes out to specifically the people who are definitely aiming for those highly selective colleges. DECA, especially if you're going to the business field, is the biggest business competition out there by far. You know, when an admissions officer sees DECA, they know exactly what that is. You don't even have to type out the acronym. They know DECA is Distributive Educative Clubs of America. They've seen people with that. And so on your resume, if you've won that International Career Development Conference or even won that state conference, these are things that can look really good. Because if they see you got first place internationally, they know you beat out so, so many people to get there. And so there's so much opportunity for you to get great awards in DECA. And the thing is with the competition is you don't just get to be, compete in one event. Outside of that, there are corporate challenges that you can compete in. There's about seven or eight of them that can automatically advance you to that international level. And those tend to be a little bit easier and you can compete in those. There's a stock market game as well and virtual business challenges that also compete outside of those conferences. So a lot of times if you can't even afford to go to those conferences, you can still compete online and still reap those benefits of getting a high level of award. And another thing is, you know, for my folks that aren't doing, you know, trying to go into the business field, let's talk a little bit about research. A lot of times in the medical field, computer science, AI, machine learning fields, you've got to be publishing really good research to get into these colleges. And the thing is with DECA is that they have research based events where you can do finance operations research, hospitality operations research, et cetera, et cetera. And so if you're interested in, interested in a specific industry, you can kind of double up. So you can write a research paper, publish it, and then also enter in the DECA competition or vice versa. I know some people have started this by doing the DECA competition and they just publish it later. And so if you're a freshman and you list all four years, that's four research papers under your belt just by competing, right? And so it's a great opportunity to just really maximize your award. Now, the second thing is that this is a great opportunity for leadership. I honestly think this might be the best opportunity for leadership in the nation out of any CTSO. Because this is such a big club, again, it looks really good if you're a leader in this club. My chapter has over 400 members, I believe 450. And so to be the chapter president of that, of nearly a club that has one fourth of the entire student population in it is absolutely absurd. Like that's crazy and you know, props to them for being able to do that, right? And not only that, DECA, in DECA you can run for district office slash regional office and you can also run for state officer as well as national slash international officer. So there's a lot of opportunity for growth as a leader, not just from your college application standpoint, but to just really develop as a leader. You know, your sophomore year, you could be a chapter officer and then you're like, I wanna take that next level step. You apply for district officer and then next year you apply for state and then next year national officer. And that's what that's a lot of the people's stories that they tell in DECA. I mean, a lot of people have made that dream come true and that can also be you. 
And I mentioned that stuff about the learning, right? It's not just about the application, but to be successful in the real world, you have to have to develop as a leader. And so in DECA, if you are an officer, you have things like the Fall Leadership Conference, the Emerging Leadership Summit. If you're in Texas, we have the Texas Leadership Summit and a lot of different things that different states and regions host to develop you as a leader. And not only that, but every time you go to one of these conferences, you are a leader, you know, whether you're chapter officer and you're just leading your chapter, hey, you know, calling out the names of all these members to get their shirts picked up, to to get, you know, everyone in the line at the hotel, to get them in line at the airport. A lot of these things take courage, public speaking spill, public speaking skills. It's ironic I messed that up there and leadership ability. And that's something that DECA is going to get you. Now, the third thing is the additional opportunities that DECA provides. A lot of times people think that DECA is just a competition oriented club. And while it is the main focal point of this organization, there's so many more opportunities this thing provides, right? I mentioned those corporate challenges that are additional opportunities to win. I mentioned I've won three of those pretty much at this point in the same year, three of those seven or eight, because they tend to be a little bit easier, but you can still reap the benefits of just succeeding in that and being able to say you were an international champion, right? And even apart from those competitions, a lot of chapters, regions, and state host community service events. I know our school has done things with Toys for Tots where we've raised donations, uh, toys. We've held social events by going to the Dallas Mavericks game, et cetera, et cetera. And even if your chapter doesn't offer that, guess what? You can start that. And that helps you develop as a leader as well, going back to tip number two. So there's just a lot of opportunities because guess what? DECA has connections, so many partners with other organizations. I mean, what other CTSO are you gonna get the opportunity to skip a day of school and go to the Dallas Mavericks with or whatever your local NBA team is or whatever it is. It has partnerships to get you those events and extra incentives that you need. And another thing is a lot of schools offer a graduation course for it. Um, and also there are opportunities to publish DECA direct articles, which is their kind of their newsletter newspaper site. And so you can publish that nationally where obviously over 200,000 students, teachers, staff, alumni are able to view it. And so that's also another opportunity that you can take part of. And also keep in mind that a lot of states specifically offer things in addition to being a state officer of like the different committees, different councils that you can join. And so just all around a lot of additional opportunities. Now, the fourth thing I want to discuss is the networking opportunities. So typically when you go to a DECA conference, whether it's district, state, or even nationals or internationals, what you're going to see is that two things. Um, one, there's so, so many people coming at these conferences. So what that means is that every single one of those people are an opportunity for you to form a friendship, whether it be personally or professionally, and also to just get along with other people and have fun, right? You're going to meet so many new people at these conferences for, you know, a matter of fact, I know at international CDC, I've met people from Florida, from Washington that I know now that not only are we friends with, but we work together on a lot of our side projects outside of school, right? And so that's something that can benefit you is that networking can really come in handy professionally. You know, we work together on a lot of stuff now because of that connection. And another thing is I mentioned DECA has great partnerships. Partners come to the booths at DECA. So at ICDC, I believe there's about 40 or 50 um, different people aligned there. There was, I remember there was the army there. There was the Muscular Dystrophy Association. There was the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation. So whatever field interests you, there's a booth there with a partner that's willing to recruit offer internships, there's colleges there that you can showcase your skills to, and just so many more people that you can meet and form a connection. Now, the fifth reason I think you all should join DECA is the scholarship money and just the sheer fun of this organization. Okay, scholarship money, I believe there's about $200,000, I believe, don't quote me on that, given out nationally. If you're in Texas DECA, so the Texas State Association of DECA, or, and I'm sure a lot of other states do this too, we also have our own like seven or eight different scholarships that we give out. So a lot of times, you can make more money by being in DECA than actually like the cost of joining DECA, which is typically about $30, $40 to pay your fees, um, which is absurd, right? Like you're literally making money by working in this organization. Like for example, when I did my corporate challenges, we won money for winning and you actually win money for winning these DECA competitions. So you can actually make more of your, more than your friends who work tirelessly, just working at like Chick-fil-A or something like that by just doing these competitions. So that's a great opportunity and also Man, this club is fun. I mean, last year we went to Orlando with our friends for five, six days, just saying, sharing the hotel with, room with them. Um, we were at Cabana Bay Resorts, beautiful place, beautiful, beautiful place. Going to Disney, going to Universal Studios, and even the state conference was so, so fun. There's so many different events, so many people, and so much opportunity to socialize. All right, y'all, I appreciate y'all sticking around to the end of this video. Please comment below if you want me to cover another different CTSO club or any organization to cover, or if you have any other video ideas. And without, uh, without further ado, I'll see you in the next one.